This tutorial will show you how to configure your MIST AP41 to forward data to Ubeek's hook. First, direct your browser to hook.ubeek.io and click the Create Endpoint button. Power on your AP41 by connecting it to a router via PoE cable. Then, direct your browser to manage.mist.com and log in with your MIST account. We haven't claimed an access point yet. But first we are going to set up a site by going to Organization Site Configuration and clicking on Create Site. Give your site a name. Then, enter your address. This will auto-populate your time zone. Now, scroll down and enable webhooks. You will need to give your webhook a name. Then, return to the Ubeek hook site to get your URL. Copy and paste. Now, check zone entry and also check virtual beacon entry. Then, enable AP config persistence. Then check Bluetooth based location service engagement. App wake up and asset visibility. Save your site and click here to enable notifications. The next step is to claim your AP. Click on Access Points and then click Claim APs. At the back of your AP41, there is a claim code. Please enter that code into the box. Click Add and uncheck the Generate Names for Assigned APs box and assign your claimed AP to your new site. Click Claim and Close. To see the APs on your site, you have to select it from this drop-down. You will notice that the AP appears to be disconnected. However, when we go to the device settings and rename the device and save, the red box will turn green. The next step is to navigate to location and click live view and to add a floor plan. Give your floor plan a name. Then, click OK. Click on the box and upload an image. Then, click the button to set up a floor plan. Set the scale by dragging a line across the image. And enter a new length. Click OK and then click Done. And fill up the origin field with any value. Finally, drag your enabled AP onto the floor plan and click Save. Don't navigate away from this page yet, as your client beacons will begin to appear. In order for your AP to forward data to Ubeek, you will need to claim some beacons as assets. Click on any of the Bluetooth assets and go into Properties at the bottom of the right panel. For each item, you will need to click Locate this client as an asset and then provide a name.
I'm going to claim 6 assets for this demo. You will notice that claimed assets turn green and unclaimed assets stay blue. By claiming a large number, we make sure that we will get some data. Click on Setup Floor Plan and lock the floor plan from further editing. You can always unlock the floor plan later if you would like to claim more assets. Navigate back to the UBeak Hook site. refresh the page, and wait for the data to begin streaming in. Expand each post by clicking on it under Live Request Panel on the left side of the page. You can also export the data by clicking on the Export All button. Thanks for watching.